hospitals were closed at the beginning of the war because there were fears of bombing. After some months, other types of education came in. Many children who lived in big cities were evacuated from their homes to the country to avoid danger and they were split up from siblings if they had any. Shipyards in Sunderland and the main shopping area were bombed and there was lots of damage. Sunderland railway station was hit. Gordon, a young boy in the war at the time, particularly remembers seeing aerial dogfights in the quay over Sunderland. He saw enemy planes shot down over Sunderland. One plane crashed into the cemetery and killed the horses that were stabled there. No people were killed. By the end of the war, almost 7,000 civilians in Sunderland were killed mainly by bombing raids. In Sunderland, a vital shipbuilding city that it is reported 273 were killed by the Luftwaffe attacks, German aircrafts, knew what they were looking for. The Queen Alexandria Bridge was built in 1909, just before World War I, and was used to cross over the River Weir, delivering supplies. It was used in both wars for this purpose, and in World War II had many bomb attempts on it, but all failed. Many bombs targeted for the shipyards also missed and landed in residential areas. Sunland Museum and Winter Gardens on Borough Road was the first municipally funded museum in the country outside London. It houses a comprehensive collection of the locally produced Sunderland Lustreware pottery. The following on the screen is a selection of videos and images collected in Tynanware archives. They are testaments to the outstanding achievements of Sunderland shipyards and workers over the 19th and the 20th century. Funded by the National Cataloging Grant Programme, for Archive 2010, the WMAC M project enabled the records of nine of Sunderland's historic shipyards to be made available to the public for the very first time. It's now 70 years since the bombing started, and to many of us today, all this seems so remote it might never have happened. Yet it's still within living memory, and those who witnessed it remember every second as if it was yesterday. They recall the devastation, the bereaved, the injured, the funerals. Perhaps those of us who came later should take care to remember it too.